So this is going to be really shitty quality because I'm on my phone and I also look like death <laughs> because I'm silly. I'm so stupid. I took Caleb to my little gym the other day and I'm... <laughs> I'm so self-conscious, I didn't want to go without makeup on, so I put mascara on just right here, just put it right there, and I was like, okay. And then I got home, continued my day, nighttime came, went to go take off my makeup, and to my surprise, I had no makeup wipes. So this is slept in makeup, and now it just looks like I've been crying. Obviously, y'all can't see, because it's really not, I mean, you probably can tell but yeah so that's my intro <laughs> to this video but I got a request from somebody on my Instagram that I should start making videos about ghost encounters that I've had not like random people that I've had because for all y'all that know me and like knew me in middle school when I lived in my old house. Y'all know it was haunted. So what I mean by haunted is like you would be in my mom's room or my room. Only those two rooms. And you could hear music playing up in the attic. Not like whatever the fuck was playing. Or was that on the radio and like, what? Yeah, I can't even say a specific date because it happened for years. I would always hear it in my room. And then, well, let me explain what you would hear. It was like, it didn't sound like it was right above us in the attic. It sounded like it was in the attic, but far away in the distance. It was super odd and it wasn't every night. It was like different nights, different times. And like, it was, I want to say 1940s music. And I say it like that because it sounded like it was coming from a telegraph. I think that's what they're called. The big, you know, record players with that big horn looking thing I think that's a telegraph if it's not I'm very sorry I'm really stupid it's also nighttime so I'm pretty tired but that's what you would hear like just like I said not every night every other night like different times it was super odd and I would be in my room and like I would wake up and I would hear it and I would just kind of sit there. Like when I first, I can remember me first hearing it or one of the first times. I was 10. So of course I thought it was just me being a little girl and not being able to, that's not even, not even not being able to understand it, but like, thinking that it was just in my imagination. I'm gonna actually turn on the light so it's not this gross TV light. I'm very sorry for how I look. I honestly, I look like I should be telling ghost stories because I look dead. <laughs> so yeah, I, I guess I didn't wanna believe it. Like I didn't wanna believe that I was hearing music upstairs. So I thought it was part of my imagination and I let it go. Flash forward a couple years, I'm still hearing it. Like throughout those years, I was still hearing it. And then I was 12, 13 maybe. And I woke up, it was like one o'clock in the morning and I went to get a glass of water. I'm walking through my house pitch black mommy well, there's like night lights on or whatever you want to like lights in the walls and then I don't hear anything and 
I'm not even kidding. I step into my room, I can hear it, but it's not like you walk in and it's loud. It was like faint. Like I had to kind of stop and be like, wait a second, is that what I think it is? And I just kind of stood there and I was like, okay. And then I wanted to go into my other room. It was like my playroom when I was a child. So how it was in my house was if this was my room, this was my playroom, and then my mom's room was right across the hallway. So I went into that room and I stood there and I couldn't hear it. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm just hearing it. I'm just remembering it. It's like, it's not really happening. And then I go back into my room. There it is. I hear it again. And I'm like, what the f uh uh so I try and like go back to sleep I'm trying so hard I'm like laying there and I'm just like stop just go to sleep it's not real you're fine just go to bed and I kept hearing it so I got freaked out and I went into my mom's room to go sleep with my mom and I lay there and it's fine I'm just I'm like on the brink of falling asleep there it goes there the fuck it goes and I'm just like what the fuck like I'm not I don't say anything but like in my head I'm like are you kidding me like what is going on and then um I think I'm the one that asked my mom I think it was either I asked my mom or she asked me but I I remember asking her are you awake or I woke her up I don't I can't say I remember that because I don't know if I woke her up or if I just said do you hear that let's just say I said do you hear that and my mom it was like you threw fucking cold water on her she jolted up and she was like you hear it too and I was like then I knew that fucking shit was real I was um yeah and then I was like well what do you hear and she said I hear music from like when I was a girl and now let me put this in perspective my mother at the time had to be 50 because right now she's 63 so yeah she was like 50 because it was like 10 years ago so obviously when she was a girl she was born in 56 she said it was like stuff she listened to or like stuff she would hear her mom listening to that that's what it was because if it's from the 40s my mom couldn't listen to it with it being out at that time so it was she heard her mom like listening to that stuff like uh, not that song that was playing but just that kind of music that's what she heard her mom listening to so we were like that freaked us out and so that's one experience I've had. Another one. I've had out I've I've had two out of body experiences. And if y'all don't know what that is, it's you're dreaming. I'm not going to give the fucking textbook like definition. I'm going to give my own definition so it might not sound great, but it's like you're dreaming, but you can see yourself sleeping. Like it's, it's fucking scary as shit. So my, the very first time I had one was in my old house. And I woke up or I was dreaming. I didn't wake up. In my dream, I woke up or I was doing something. I was in my room, got up because I heard the music. So I wanted to go look for it. Like I wanted to go upstairs into the room where my attic is and I wanted to look for it. So I got up, I walked upstairs and I went to go into the room. And so if you're standing, if this is the top of the stairs, right that way is the opening to the door, to the door, to the room. So you can see right into it. So I'm at the top of the stairs and I'm looking into the room and the TV is on. 
but like on the static channel, like the snow channel. And there's a boy, like a fucking child sitting on the ground looking at the TV. I didn't say anything, just kind of stared. And then I went to walk closer and the stair creaked or the floor creaked, whichever it was. But the boy like went to turn. This fucking kid had no face. <laughs> no fucking face. And just imagine yourself being like 15. Yeah, I was 15. And seeing that, like walking, even in a dream, just, oh, oh, he had no face. Like it was no fucking face. He had little like sockets, but like it, what, they weren't like black. They were like this color of his skin, but they were just kind of like divots in his fucking eyeball where they're supposed to be. That was it. And then he didn't say anything either. He just, well, I mean, obviously he had no mouth, but I mean, I guess he could talk if he wanted to, but he didn't. And he said that, he said that, he didn't say anything. I'm so sorry. He turned around and I just looked at him and he was not looking at me. Like, I'm not saying that because he had no eyes, but he wasn't like fully full on looking at me. Like his face was kind of like, if I'm him or if the camera is me looking at the boy, he was kind of just like here. Like he kind of heard something and turned his head. And then I, li I remember, distinctively remember in the dream going, who are you? Like, that's the first thing that came out of my mouth. And then he looked, he like, the, legit looked at me with no eyeballs and stood up and started to fucking walk towards me. <laughs> and I was like, no, uh-uh. No, 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 no. And I guess I freaked myself out so much that I woke up, like in real life, woke up standing in that fucking room. Like I slept walk there. Fucking terrifying because when I woke up, the TV was on. That's not like... I know that doesn't sound scary because like, oh, Vic, you could have turned the TV on. No, the TV was on, on the static channel, and I went to go turn it off. Why the fuck I walked in the room? I will never know. I think I'm so stupid for doing that because I was so scared. But I went to go turn the TV off, and it was unplugged. Ah. Oh. That sh I fucking bolted out of that room. I ran into my mom's room and like jumped on her bed. She woke up. She was like, oh my God, are you okay? Like what, what's going on? And I was like, no, I just had a bad dream. Like, oh my God. And like, I didn't tell her because I didn't, oh, what the fuck do you say? Like, this is what happened. Your mom's going to be like, it was just a dream. But yeah, no shit. It was a dream, but I woke up standing in the fucking room. But I knew she wouldn't believe me, so I, like, didn't tell her. But I didn't know why. I thought she wouldn't believe me because we both heard the music and she believes in ghosts. So I just, I don't know. I just didn't feel like telling her. And then, so the second time I had a out-of-body experience, and this one was, like, a legit out-of-body experience. Like, the first one, I turned around and saw my body, but then I walked upstairs. So it was, like... And then I woke up in the room. It was very odd. But. So the second one. I was. Maybe 16. Like It was not far apart. But it wasn't in my old house. It was in my dad's house. Like I just moved in with my dad. And. Okay wait. No no no. Back up. Before I even like. Tell that part. I have to. Explain who was haunting my house because my mom being my mom for y'all that know her went to a psychic to, and like they said that there was an old man um like 
watching over me, I guess. And it was over me. It wasn't like me and my mom. It was me. It was an old man watching over me. And there was a little boy attached to my mom. And my mom thinks it was this little boy she knew, like she knew when she was a girl, but he died. It was pretty horrific how he died. Um, he was on a, I don't know if he was on a bike by himself or he was on a motorcycle and like got launched off. I really don't know how he died, but I, well, I know how he died, but I don't know if he was on a bike or riding with someone, but I know he got flung off and he landed on a stick. This poor boy, I don't even know how old they were, but they were children and he landed on a stick and went right through his fucking eyeball and went right through his brain and he died. Like my mom was like, that was the worst death I've ever like, that's ever happened to someone close to me. So we knew who the little boy was, but at the time of my, uh, out of body experience, I didn't know that yet. So then once I heard that, I was like, okay, like it kind of makes me feel a little bit better because when I was younger, I looked like my mom. So he probably looked at me, even though he didn't have any eyes, but he obviously saw me. So he probably looked at me and thought of my mom. So like when I thought of that, I was like, oh my God, he was like running to my mom, like, or who he thought was my mom. And then I felt so bad, but I was like, nah, that shit was so scary. But, so yeah, I have, and I'm saying have because I still have the old guy watching over me. I, I feel his presence. There's so many things I have with ghosts. Like, I'm so sensitive to the paranormal. And I know some people will think that's bullshit, but it's, I don't care. I believe in it. I have proof to myself that I believe in it. There have been other people with me that have the proof. So yeah. All right, so let me stop fucking talking <laughs> or blabbing and just talk about my second out of body experience. So when I first moved in to my dad's house, I was kind of like scared, not scared to like live there, but I was like, wasn't comfortable in my room yet so I had to sleep with music on because it was a it was a brand new house to me like it wasn't a new house but it was a new house to me there is new sounds and coming from a haunted house of course my mind went to fucking like oh my god it's haunted so I just put on music and I the one night which is the night of the out-of-body experience but that night I put on a band get scared I, you none of you will probably know who they are they're a real screamo band, if you want to say it like that. But I was really into them. So I had that on. I had them on my computer. Like, I had Spotify opened. Played on my computer. It was low enough that it wasn't disturbing me while I'm trying to fall asleep. You know what I mean? So I had it like that. And then I had my computer, like, this much open, I guess. I don't know. I know I'm not looking at the camera, but I'm on my phone, so it's very odd to just stare, you know, whatever. So I was like, open like this much, and I can't, like, I don't know what I was dreaming, dream, woo, dreaming about, but what I can say is that I remember, like, how my dad's or how my room at my dad's is, is like, <sighs> let's see, look. So this isn't my dad's. The doorway here is my doorway. And then to the wall right here, like right where the couch meets this wall, and then where the fan is. That was all just wall. But the rest of the room was just pure ginormous windows because it was a sunroom that I converted into my room because I didn't want to share a room with my sister anymore. Stepsister. That doesn't matter. She's my sister. But um, I didn't want to share a room with her because, you know, I was getting older and then she should have her own room. She shouldn't have to move into a new house, get a new sister, and then just share a room with her automatically. You know, I've 
I didn't want to share a room with her either. I wanted my own space because I had my own space for 15 years. That doesn't fucking matter. So, the rest are just windows, but, like, you can't open or close the windows because they're just they're big-ass sunroom windows. So... The blind behind, like, my bed, I had just on the floor. Like, I didn't have a uh, bed frame yet. So, I just had my mattress on the floor. And the blinds were, like, this much open, I guess. And, excuse me, I don't know if you heard that, but I just kind of burped. Um, so, I was sleeping there. And I remember in my dream... I heard the music that I heard in my old house and I was like hmm like that's odd but I guess it's kind of like a uh, I don't know how to explain it like I to me I was like hmm it's because I miss home so I'm dreaming of something that I vividly remember from living there because I really don't have any other memories which is weird I don't have any other memories of living in my house besides the paranormal shit that happened but so I was like oh okay and then I like woke up or I thought I woke up but I was still sleeping I'll get to that but I woke up I like stood up I walked upstairs Got a drink of water. This is all in my dream. Well, not a dream. This is all when I was awake. I was actually asleep. But in my, like, it was in my dream. No, no, I was right with saying dream because it wasn't a dream. So I was drinking water and then I went back downstairs, went into my room, and I saw myself st not standing, <laughs> sleeping. Like, legit sleeping. And I was like flat on my back, which is very odd because I don't sleep on my back. I sleep either on my stomach or on my side. It's not comfortable to sleep on my back. But so, I'm on my back and then I hear the music outside my window. And I'm just kind of staring because last time I went to go confront the music, I had a faceless boy come at me. So I wasn't fucking doing it again. So I went, I went nowhere. I stood there and I stared out the window and I was like, what the, f why now? Like what, what, what is going on? And then I hear like knocking like on my window, but there's nothing there. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then I see feet up here. Like they're just like, like if you look out my window, it's like the grass and then it's like a hill that goes up into the backyard it's really weird but like I see the feet descending down and just stop at my window and I'm like oh, what the fuck is going on and like I see the knees because the person is crouching down and then I just see two hands just up on my window and then a face I can't even tell you what the face looked like because I do not remember it but it stared at me not at me sleeping at the person the person the me standing it stared at me and then I just we, we stared at each other for maybe 30 seconds and then he fucking banged on the window and it actually banged in real life on the window because I woke up to it and I literally watched myself jolt up in the sitting position and then I everything went black and I my eyes opened and I was sitting up <laughs> I like ran upstairs I ran to my sister's room she she still had the bunk bed so I crawled into the bunk bed well my bunk bed was the top one but since I moved out she took the top one so I just went into the bottom one I just laid there and I was like what the fuck 
so I'm gonna stop it here. I'll probably post another video tomorrow morning because I'm I'm so tired, but I'm gonna stop the video here and what I'll post tomorrow is my Nana coming to visit me twice. And both times were in a really hard time in my life. So I will explain tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and I promise I'll try and not look like death, but uh, I don't have makeup remover, so I'll I'll try. <laughs> okay, so good night. And you will hear from me in the morning or tomorrow. Whichever one. Good night.